I have here a BMW X1 E84. This car has a very common problem, lighting system. No more tour signal, no nothing, no electric windows and so on. This problem is caused by the FRM module failure. The FRM module have failed in this car because of the battery. This car have a very weak battery and because of that the software in the FRM module have failed. So, you know the drill, next step is to remove the FRM module from the car. Now with the necessary tools, T20, 10mm, Phillips screwdriver and a small flat screwdriver. First I will remove the carpet, because it's dirty. Under the carpet I have found the treasure. The FRM module is situated behind this uh, panel near the footrest of the driver. To remove this panel, first I will need to remove this ornament from here, this trim, and this panel. This trim has some clips. To remove this trim, I need to be very careful because this ornament has a lip here, have a clip that will catch on this lip. You see, if I will pull, I will pull them together. So you can see, I need to pull this ornament back to release it and at this end the same I need to release it and after that I'm able to pull this trim out I need to pull it straight not to damage the clips and these two loops from here that will catch the clip now with this removed, I will protect this part and I will start to remove this cover. This have three screws, T20, one here, one here and one there. After that I can pull out this cover and from here I need to disconnect the fiber optic terminal. This is used when programming the car for the multimedia. I will disconnect the light and the emergency speaker. This is for the SOS system call. And last thing I will disconnect the Bluetooth antenna for your phone, for your mobile phone. So, next from down here I need to unscrew the engine hood release tab, this have a Phillips type of screw. And I have another screw here that will keep in place this cover. Like so. Now this cover is also kept in place by a plastic clip that is somewhere around in this area and another one here. For this I will put my hand behind of it with careful and I will pull straight and from here I will also be able to remove it very easy. The upper clip is broken, I didn't broke it, uh, this was broken by someone else, uh, he didn't align the clip with the hole and this is the result. It's not a very big deal because I have another clip and I will replace it. And this bad boy from here is the FRM module. This one have two screws, two nuts, plastic nuts, one here and one up. This one I will remove it. And the top one, I will lose it. Like so. Now I'm able to remove the module. I need to unplug this plug from here. And these two big ones.
Now I need to open the case. And this is the module. This here is the main processor. And this is the problem, the software that is corrupted, it's inside of uh, this processor. Okay, now from here I need this laptop. And down here I need this. And now I will prepare everything. I will power on this laptop. From here I will need this cable, this module, this clip, this dongle and this power supply. The dongle will be connected here. Power supply and the cable, the USB cable. Next step is to align the clip with the pads from the module. Normally, if you don't have this clip, you'll need to solder some wires, but to do something professional, I will use this tool. I will perfectly align the pins with the pads. Like so, I will connect the USB-A and the power supply. Okay, now from my laptop I will start the program. I will select a new file. From the device I will select the D flash. like so, I will hit OK. I will hit read. Now I will read the information from the D-Flash, the D-Flash is not affected. Partition corrupted, it's OK, this is because of this software. I will hit OK, here I will hit OK. Read device. The device has read it. I have a ton of information here. I will save the information from here on a desktop. I will give it a name X1D flash. Save. I will close it. I will exit from here. Now I will open the program, the flash to EEE from desktop. I will select the file x1 the flash open and I will save it x1 e e e save now I have the information about the car the V number the production date the programming date it's corrupted it's not a very big problem uh, the ZB number, the software number, the same are corrupted, but the original part number is okay, the hardware version number is okay. Okay, after that I will go back in the program. From here I will select again the device. I will select now the EEE partition from the same processor. Okay, I will open 
the new created EEE file x1 EEE okay open the file is opened from here I will erase the processor the EEE partition erase device yes I will select the entire partition that is 16 sectors 15 16 sectors okay perfect and last step right right to device yes Perfect. Now I will close this. I will close the program. Okay, uh, unplug everything. Unplug this one. I will close this laptop. Now inside of uh, this case, uh, for my reference, I will uh, write down the today date. And the today date is 23-01-2023. Ovi. Like so. And in the future, if uh, somehow this car will end up again here, I will know when I have repaired it and how uh, much time this uh, FRM module have lasted. And now I will mount everything back. First thing I will clean a little bit of dust. because I like to leave a good impression for the next guy that will work here. And the best impression that I'm able to leave is the impression that no one has been work here ever. That this car is like have exit from the factory door. This is my way of thinking and in this way I'm working. Connect everything back.
and everything is like a big Lego. I need to put everything back like I have removed them. When putting this cover back, I need to align that tab from there with that hole. See? Like so. And this piece from here with that slot. Like that. And now I'm able to put this thing back, put the screws back. Like so, don't forget to clean the traces. And the last step. This piece from here. I need to align the clips with the holes and close them. And now the final test, switch on the ignition, everything it seems to work, tour signal, perfect. Probably some of you will start to scream, why didn't we test the module before you mount back the car? I didn't test it because I'm 100% sure that that module is working. If it was something that I was not sure, I will test it before I will mount the car back. Don't worry. Now, this car is working. Next step uh, will be to connect with the diagnostic equipment, read the errors, clear them, and at the end, I will recommend to the owner of the car to replace the battery, and after replacement, the battery will need to be coded on the car. If you like this video, if you learned something new, please show me by hitting the like button. Thank you for watching these videos, thank you for being with me, and till next time, stay awesome. Bye now.